What's up guys and welcome to the Turing video series release. This is a series of videos on the programming language called Turing, a 30 year old programming language that no one uses for real programming development today since there's several better languages to use. But why code with Turing? Well Turing is actually one of the easiest in my opinion languages to possibly learn. And that's why several beginner computer science classes start with Turing since it's very easy to learn. And well, since it's so easy, it helps you understand the key concepts of, you know, computer programming and all that good stuff. I'm making this series because, well, as I search onto YouTube, there are absolutely very, very little to absolutely no Turing programming tutorial guide type of videos out there. I searched on Google, I searched on YouTube, I searched on Google Video, Yahoo Video, AOL Video. Um, uh, I guess that's why I didn't check some other ones, but yeah, that's basically, yeah, basically there's very, there's basically no videos for this programming language since it's like old. It's like well, it's 30 years old. It started back in 1982. And there's no and back then there was no such thing as YouTube or rather much of the internet at all or even Google. Or I could a kajillion websites or products that you see today. And well, like yeah, it was basically since it was developed in 1982, it's it's a very old programming language and it's like no longer supported. As in, in, like, the latest release. I, I I don't even know when the latest release is, but when you actually code with this, you don't have to worry about the updates since there's not going to be any updates because there hasn't been any for, like, years. So let's get started with this series. Um, the first thing I want to talk about in this video would be the basic, well, history of Turing. Since no one cares about history, you can just stop this video and go to the next video. If you actually want to learn about Turing's history, then, you know, stick around. Anyways, Turing is a programming language developed back in 1982. Yes, in the 80s, where everyone was taking drugs and such. Smoking weed, I think. I don't know. I don't remember history. I'm bad with history, as in I end up forgetting, like, most of it. So, yeah. Anyways, it, back in 1982, it was um, developed by two guys named Rick Holt and James Cordy and then the guys at U of T as in University of Toronto in Canada took over and then Turing became descendants of a bunch of languages that no one wants anyways it's basically it, it, it just has very clean syntax and it's like very easy to understand and use it's not like C++ with like a million things to worry about when you just want to say hello world to everyone so then again blah 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 it like well basically the latest release that again was several years ago so actually never mind um, back in 2000 I think it was 2006 or 2007 Turing released their actual language for as free so basically everyone use it and I think there hasn't been any new release since 2006 or 2007 so yeah it's per you think it's outdated but it's actually not really outdated because technically outdated means you have an old version when there's a new one but there's no new one so technically you're not out there's this programming language is not outdated it's just really really old now syntax is pretty damn easy blah 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 I don't think you're gonna care about much of the history which I I don't remember any more of the history, I couldn't really care less. So that's basically the end of this series release. Now the next episode I'm going to start talking about stuff about Turing. Like how to print stuff, a bunch of statements, variables, blah blah blah. So stay tuned, subscribe and such because I'm going to be spamming out videos like a lot. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this very short-ish series release of the programming language Turing and I hope you guys subscribe or you guys you know stick around since I'm gonna be uploading more of these guides